Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for February. I've already done one. I've decided that I'm going to do another one. Um, this is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see whatever comes up mid-February. So, you know, it may not have happened yet because we're not at mid-February. What do we got for Aries? Oh, Tower! disruption so this is a rude awakening something is crumbling something is crashing this is nothing to be worried about because things crash things fall apart things crumble so that you can rebuild again so we do have a disruption on the horizon around any time now you know this needs to happen so that you can clear out what no longer serves you maybe the house that you live in and maybe the vehicle i don't know and i'm not saying that it's something's going to happen to your house but you got to think about the tower it's like the the structure whatever the structure is some sort of structure is breaking down okay it's breaking down because it needs to all right, nothing to be scared of because this is actually a blessing. This disruption comes in to clear your path. Clean slate. You have to have this to get that clean slate. Okay? You're going to get one of these. It's actually a really good thing. It is. There's like something that is no longer working. It's like not operating correctly and it has to it has to be waved away, you know, it has to be dealt with, whether you like it or not. One card for Aries. What do you got for Aries? Abundance, see? That's what you need. And you notice it came out reversed. Wherever you're at, there's been a lack of abundance, right? There has. There's been a lack of abundance. There's been a lack of growth. It feels like you you may have lost some ambition or some energy. And it just feels like you were lacking, right? Once we go through this disruption, once we, once we clean this up, your abundance is going to come right back. You're going to be feeling good. You're going you're gonna to be cleansed, okay? And that is the ultimate abundance when you are able to release all the toxin. And that's what's going to happen here. Something is going to be removed that needs to be removed so that you can get your abundance back. Okay? So see all the blossoms here? So, you are going to have blossoming abundance. This is a blessing in disguise. Okay? So you got a blessing in disguise coming in that is going to bring you something much, much better. Okay? Don't be scared. Ooh, I just love it when that happens. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment where you're at, which we can already see. Right? There has, and this is a lack of abundance. The Nine of Cups upright is abundance. There's been a lack of abundance. Something needs to change. This is a universe. This is a universe card. The universe sees that something needs to change. They're here to help. Maybe uncomfortable. Because you notice, you see, it's going to be uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. It may feel like, you know, you notice his heart area is shifting. You know, it's like it may, it may ache. It may cause some aches and pains because... Things are going to be uneven, you know. They're going to be a little mm, disorganized, it's chaotic perhaps. It might be a little painful, all right? You're probably going to be emotional too, all right? Maybe emotional. But change is needed. This is meant to happen right now. The time is now. It's destiny. It's fate. We have a fated change of course that is happening because somebody hasn't been happy. They haven't been getting the emotional fulfillment that they deserve or they desire. There's been a lack of uh, love, okay, in a situation. And so things need to change. 
So we have a completion here, a completion of one chapter in your life. Something is ending. This is a completion. This has to happen. It's going to, it's probably going to be emotional. It may be painful. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretty this up for anybody. Never going to happen. Um, but it's going to lead you right towards happiness. Okay, so so the discontent and the sadness and the pain that you have been through, the lack of abundance, it's about to end. It's about to end. That troublesome time where you may have been depressed or you may have been sad or you may have been all in your feelings and unable to master your emotions, it's about to change. It's about to change. But change never comes easy. It never, ever does. It's never going to. Okay, so be prepared for a change in direction, courtesy of the universe, okay, which is going to bring you extreme happiness. It may even bring you together with somebody that you could end up committing to. This could be a soulmate connection. It could, it could. A partnership, definitely. Whatever, whatever you are headed towards, it's, it's happy. It's bliss. And it I think it does lead you towards some sort of partnership, whether it's just with a friend or with a daughter or a loving partner, whoever it is. This is going to bring, this is going to lead you towards happiness. No more discontent. No more sadness. That sadness is going away. No more lost opportunities. No more faulty foundation. That's crumbling. It's crumbling for a reason. It is. It's bringing you to a better place. It's time for you to receive. It's time for you to receive the good things instead of the hurt. Oh, God. And yeah, I think that you may be a little worried. You, you, may, you may have been worried. You have been through a period of mental anguish. You have been through a period of despair. It's over. It's over. It's just about over. This wheel is spinning in your favor. This is the winds of change. You know, all those sleepless nights that you have spent crying or moping or sad and depressed, this is just about over. It is. And I think you probably have seen this coming. You may have gone through some sort of repression. You may have gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. Maybe you're going through a spiritual awakening. Maybe you're using silence at this time. Maybe you're keeping to yourself because you're going through some sort of healing or you're going through some sort of awakening. Maybe you have gained some sort of superpower, you know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe you're becoming more psychic. Maybe your abilities are increasing at this time. Whatever's happening, there is a huge reward at the end of it. It's bringing you closer to your life's purpose. You're completing a chapter in your life of discontent and sadness and woe. That cycle is completing. Okay? And you're headed towards a better place. And maybe you've seen this coming for quite some time. This is definitely part of the script. It is. I'm telling, I'm going to tell you to really listen to your intuition and follow your intuition at this time. Okay? If your intuition is telling you that you just need to go with the flow, you just need to accept this change, you just need to trust, just do it. Just do it. You are highly, highly aware at this time. Do not doubt yourself for a minute. Okay? Something, oh God's the end of pain. The worst is over. It's over. It's the death of what was. This is like a death. It is. It's the death. It's the end. It's the end of that sadness. It's the end of the pain. And I think that maybe you may have somebody that is around you that may be really emotional that because you're ending a situation. There's definitely, there could be some tears that are shed. There could be some... Um, pain that is being released okay that's what's going on we have we have a death of what was and that is no joke 
Okay, we have a death of the pain, a death of the anguish. It's over. The worst, the storm is over. And you are headed to a much better place where, you know, you're going to get the abundance that you deserve. Good luck is on its way. This is your lucky break. That's what you got, a lucky break here. I feel like, you know, perhaps you, you may be a little scared. You may be a little scared. You may feel like you don't have the skills or, or you don't have the know-how or you don't have the desire to do this. You may feel like, no, I don't want to do this. This is too scary. I don't care about this. I don't have time for this. I don't want to do this. But it has to happen. You know, it has to happen. You, you need to... Um, you need to focus here. And you may not want to focus. You may not want to focus. You you may have lost sight. You may have lost sight of your goal. You may have lost sight. And it's time to regain it. Okay? It's time to regain your focus and start over. There you are. There you are. So I really feel as though, Aries, you guys are ending a cycle of pain. Okay, you're ending a cycle of pain. I feel like you have no desire to live there anymore. You have no uh you have no desire to uh fight this change either. I don't think that you're going to fight it. I don't. I feel like um things have been turned upside down for too long. And at this point, you have to do what's right for you. And I feel like there's no reasoning with this. It's like there's no reasoning with you. You may feel like, you know what, I have to do this. I have to move forward whether, you know, you like it or not. So you could have somebody in your space that doesn't want you to move on or doesn't want you to give up. But I feel like you're really giving up on something that didn't make you happy, you know? You're just giving up. That's what I see. I see that you're giving up and you're headed to a better place, you know? It's like I'm not going to... I mean, there's weakness here. There's This is weakness. This is lack of strength. You just don't have the strength. You don't have the strength to to stay here anymore. It's like you're exhausted. You've been in a situation that has mentally and emotionally exhausted you. And it, I mean, it's like it's caused a lot of fatigue. Fatigue. It's caused a lot of um, lethargy. It's like you don't, it's just, it's, it's stolen your energy. And it's like, you know what? I want happiness. And I got ahead in this new direction. I think the universe sees that you've been suffering. Okay, I think you've been suffering. And I feel like that's why this disruption is here. That's why we're good. the universe is stepping in and they're throwing this change your way. Okay? Now, this card didn't pick up, so I'm going to take it. Ooh. Ooh. You need to have faith. You need to believe in yourself. This is about going your own way and believing yourself. Believing in yourself. Setting clear intentions. You may have been seeking guidance and you're getting it. You're getting it. This is removing blockages. I feel as though right now you're in the process of deepening your spiritual practice and you know, you absolutely know that it's time to go. It is. It's time to end a situation. So I feel like you are being divinely guided to just go. And, and I feel like you're ready to go your own way. I don't know what that means or go your own way. I keep hearing it. Go your own way. I'm going my own way. And I feel like, I mean, you're, you're ready to trust. You're ready to believe. I think that you're being poked. You're being guided. You're being pushed. And I think that you're believing more than you ever have in, your, in yourself, in your intuition. I think that you have faith that this is the right move. And this is the right move. It is the right move. You have been stuck in a situation that has stolen your energy for too long. Oh, jeez, I'm growl. God damn. Excuse my language. God damn. <laughs> That's what that is. Anyway, um, 
Yeah. So, I mean, we have somebody that is going through major disruption in their life because it's time to start over. It's time. It's time. It's time to cleanse what no longer serves you. It's time to go your own way. And I feel like you are living in a place or you're staying in a place that no longer serves you. It's like your foundation is no longer stable, whether it's your your body or your home or your work or whatever this is, your foundation is not stable. And it's like, it's about to crack, it's about to crumble, it's about to collapse. It's like all of it, it's gonna be instant. It's gonna be like an instant uh, quake per se you know there's going to be like an instant I mean we got the tower twice it's big it is we have a huge change of course here something is going to be it's going to crumble something is going to crash something is is going to crumble crash and collapse that needs to collapse so that you can follow your own path so that you can get what you deserve so that you can find happiness so that you can unite with whoever it is that you are supposed to unite with I mean right around the corner we have extreme happiness but this is around the corner you're gonna go through some sort of upheaval before you get to this happiness this is destiny it's meant to happen and I think that it's happening at this time because you know it's time I think I don't think you're gonna fight it at all. I don't think that you're gonna you're just gonna let it go. That's what I see. I feel like you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. So, Aries, I really feel like you're about to have some some sort of um, shake up in your life that <sighs> pushes you in a new direction because the time is now. And it's probably going to happen very, very fast, like I said. I think it's going to be instant. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be instant. It's going to happen quickly. It's going to push you and it's going gonna, it's gonna to move you in a new direction. It is going to move you in a new direction. Um, very fast moving energy. There's nothing to feel guilty about. So don't let guilt hold you back. You may be dealing with somebody who uses emotional blackmail as a tactic and they've kept you stuck. Don't. No. Mm -mm. You know what you got to do. It's like, I just want to be happy. I'm not going to be controlled. I'm not going to live in this conflict. I have nothing left to prove. All I want is my happiness. I'm walking away from these power struggles. So I feel like, Aries, you guys are moving to a much, much, much better place. And I know this is much of a carry-on to the last reading, but, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't make this shit up. If the energy doesn't change, the energy doesn't change. You are heading towards abundance after a major huge disruption in your life okay you are you absolutely I'm not gonna try to scare anybody but that's a pretty big deal that's a pretty big deal all right so something big is happening to bring you something better okay you have to you have to remove the stuff that is holding you back to get the reward to get what you deserve to get the abundance okay so, you know, I really feel as though you guys are listening, you're trusting, and I don't see you resisting this change. I really don't. I don't see you resisting it one bit. I feel like you guys are having more faith and trust than you have had in a really long time. I think you're in a better place. I think you know what you need to do, and I think you're believing in yourself more than you ever have. Um, I think that you have been in a situation that may have been you know secure it may have been secure financially but there was no emotion there you know there was no emotion there and you may have hung on to the situation because it was financially stable but like well, like I said there's no there's no there's no love there there's no emotional contentment there I feel like you know maybe money was more important maybe you were stuck in a place and now it's like you know what I, I don't give a shit about the money I don't care about the money all I want is my happiness I feel like you guys are
definitely letting go of your insecurities. Leaving the past hurts behind. This is a card of forgiveness. That's what's happening. It's time to leave. You're on the path to recovery and you know it's time to leave the past hurts behind. You're releasing pain. Thank you, Lord. And the universe is helping big time. This is divinely timed. It's divinely guided. And it's going to bring you to a much better place. But it is probably going to be painful. But on the outskirts, we have a partnership that is going to come about. That is going to make you very happy. So when this disruption comes in, don't fight it. Believe that God has your best interest at heart. This is going to lead you towards abundance and happiness. We're going to get you one of these. Whatever this is. You guys are making big moves. You are. Something is... Well, I don't know if it's... I don't think you really have a choice with these tower twice. This is out of your control. It really is. The universe is... This is universally driven. The universe is in control at this point, okay? Free will does play a part. It does. And where the free will comes in here, this is a card of free will and destiny, is believing and trusting in the path. So I feel like because you are now trusting in yourself and believing in yourself, that's where your free will has come into play. It's like now you know. Now you believe in yourself. Now you know that you can succeed. Now you believe. You know, you, believe, you probably believe that this is, is going to be okay. And because you believe that, universe is saying, okay, now you're ready. You have this renewed faith. So yeah, there's one, there's one chapter in your life that is absolutely ending and something is being cleared out so that you can begin again. And that's what's going on here. And it may cost you. It may cost you some money. It may. It may. Just saying. I mean, it may cost you some money. Mm. watching clouds <laughs> beautiful lie back rest and relax yeah don't fight it don't fight it please lie back relax Put everything aside and take time to renew your energy. And that's what needs to happen here. That's why this is happening. It's often when you totally relax that new insights and awareness can emerge. Take deep, full breaths. Put your feet up. Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers you seek will emerge easily. You're going to be receiving guidance. The whole way. So be listening. While this disruption is happening, trust me, you're going to be receiving divine guidance. There's no joke. Through your intuition, through your gut, through whatever, you are going to be receiving the guidance that you need. Okay? Just trust me. Just listen. Silence yourself and they will lead the way. Put your feet up. Be present in each moment. Do nothing. Watch clouds. The answers that you seek will emerge easily. But first you need to stop all activity. Take naps. And you probably have been. You've probably been exhausted. I think that somebody has been mentally exhausted. It's clear anyway. Evaluate your life. And I think that if you haven't been, which I do believe you have, you know... You're going to be evaluating your life at this time. And maybe you have been. Maybe you've been going through your life and everything that's happened. And it's time. It's time. There are times when the most empowering thing the traveler can do is stop, is step off the path. You're about to step off the path. There is no joke. It's time to renew and regenerate. 
This is also a time when significant signs appear. Spirit can be felt. Whatever is the most relaxing to you, stretching out in a hammock, watching clouds, taking a candlelight bath, or, watch, or walking on the seashore, do it. The challenges in your life will dis diminish and often simply drop away. That's what's happening here. The struggle that you have been through is about to basically be washed away because the time is now. The time is now. We have like the winds of change. They're like blowing in and they're bringing you to a better place. Don't fight it. I think you know that this is the best course of action. I think you're ready. Good luck.